Rebecca Neighbors asks, what's the difference between the different types of tequila aside from the color? So I have here one of my favorite tequilas, Commissario. But here is the Blanco, which is clear in color. Sometimes this is called a silver, but this is unaged tequila. This one's a Reposado, which is darker, and that's because it's aged in oak barrels two months to 12 months a year. So it obviously gets a little color from those barrels. Then you have an Anejo, which is aged over a year in oak barrels. So it's a little, even a little bit more darker than the Reposado. Now, if it's aged over three years, it could be called an extra Anejo. Now, there are, are also Anejos that are clear, like this swole here. This is a Cristalino Anejo, which means they went back and refiltered it, making it clear again. But it's still an Anejo tequila that's aged over a year. So that's what the differences are. Generally, if you're shooting a tequila, it's going to be a Blanco. Both the Blanco and Repo make great mixers for different kinds of cocktails. The Nejo, they do make cocktails with this as well, but generally most people like to sip it just neat or with some ice cubes in the glass. But of course, when you buy it, you drink it however you like. But that's the basics of the differences in tequilas. Cheers.